It's about to storm. All right, so today's video is a Michaels stationery haul. Now, I picked up a few things over the course of a couple of trips. It's not a lot, but I have some scrap of papers, um, paper pads, a huge sticker book, which I'm gonna go through every sticker sheet. So, oh, I have several sticker books. So the end of the day there is a lot if that makes sense but anyhow um so I'm also going to be doing some swatches with some pins that I found but I think I'm going to start with the scrap of paper because this is going to take a little while and I want you to see all the different types that you get in these paper pads um so Michaels has the cutest scrap of paper pads but they have these um, they're called hot buys. So basically, you have the option of choosing some scrapbook paper pads, washi tape, sticker books like this one. It's, an, it's a hot buy. Um, and you can mix and match. Um, and they're buy two, or no, buy one, get two for free. So they're $20. So you're basically paying $20 for three items, which is an insane deal. And tell me why I've never heard of this deal. I went the last time. I don't really go to Michael's very often because it's, you know, on the pricier side, but you know, they have such great things. But um, I went the last time with a couple of my friends and they were like, yeah, you didn't know about this deal. And I was like, where have I been? But when I did go, they didn't really have that many options. So I'm hoping they replenish because I definitely want to go back in the next couple of weeks to see what else I can find. So anyway, I'm going to show you what's, what's exactly in these paper pads. I also wanted to mention, um, I got this actually from a stationary swap from <laughs> me and my really two good friends. We do stationary swaps, probably lame, but we don't really care because we really like crafts and stationary. We're like all stationary obsessed. Um, so we share our stationary <laughs> with each other and we do swaps. This was one of our stationary swaps and my friend had this paper pad, which is from Michael's um, and it was a hot buy. It's like this very like magical celestial laser foiling like so beautiful there was a matching sticker book matching washi 
um there was something else i don't remember but i did get a couple samples from there and i grabbed this um sheet and then this one with the beautiful journaling cards oh my god i'm really hoping michael's has this again because i definitely want to purchase one for myself it is so beautiful i love the purples and blues so if this is more your style um check out michael's um so anyway yeah that's from a stationary swap and uh, i'll show you the sticker book next that is part of the hot buy so i grabbed those two um scrap of papers and then i got this sticker book you get 1207 stickers which is insane and they had different themes i chose the animal theme really cute i'm gonna fix this a little bit better here so i can show you there's a ton of stickers in this one there's a lot so let's go through these as fast as we can so here's this first sheet that has all these cute little dogs wearing like little ties. I love the little Sheba. I think he's so cute. And then this one has cats. If you're a cat person, that would be a sticker, sh sticker sheet for you. And then this one has dogs and cats. And they have like some foiling on their glasses. I love that um pug. So cute. And these are kind of like the clear plasticky kind of stickers. This next one has all these really fun, colorful birds. I love the little pink ones. And then we have some otters. This is definitely one of my favorite sheets out of the whole book. Every sheet is different, so I love that. Um, and then this one has a little circus theme with some gold foiling. There's a monkey, an elephant on a ball. I don't like circuses, but if it's a circus sticker sheet, no animals harmed. <laughs> Super cute. And then, hold on, did I skip one? Oh, wait. Oh my God, they're coming apart. <laughs> okay, here's this one. This one has like, um, you can use as like little planner stickers, all different animals with different, kind of like emojis. There's koalas and bunnies, just making different faces which is super funny. And then this one with the pandas, hugging bamboo, being lazy. That's me, so cute, love that. And then there's a farm themed one, with the chickens and the pigs and goats and horses, and then the little duck. And then some sheep stickers. These are like a plastic. My mom loves sheep, so I might make her something with these sheep stickers. Probably for her birthday, because her birthday's in October, so I'm definitely gonna use those sheep stickers in her birthday card. And then this little party themed one, I love this one where they're all sitting at the table. They have party hats and they have little presents. The little bear's so cute. And here's this one. There's dragons, and I think this one's like a Chinese themed one, like Chinese New Year. And then, oh, I love this butterfly one. Very on trend right now. I see butterflies everywhere, but it's super colorful. And, oh, I really like this one. There's penguins and polar bears and seals. This one would have actually gone great with the spread I did maybe like a, a little bit over a week ago. I used like um, penguins and um, I guess like North Pole, South Pole, whatever, um, Antarctic animals. <laughs> oh, I'm horrible at describing things. Um, and then this one is super colorful. I love the little pink mochi looking bunny. He's so cute and the little koala. So there's like a different art uh, styles, which I like because there's a little bit of something for everyone. I like anything, so it doesn't matter to me. This one, definitely one of my favorite ones. This is my under the sea ocean theme again. If you haven't seen my journal with me slash q a it's on my channel it's a long one because it's a semi real-time one and then i'm also I was also doing a q a the theme was under the sea this one would have gone perfect with it look how cute that little squid is okay and then this next one's like a plastic one and it has just jungle animals the tiger and the little hippo and the snake 
Then we have some bunnies with little mushrooms. It's like this one right here holding the little toadstool is so cute. This one with all of these like desert creatures, scorpions and dillos, armadillos. <laughs> And then some koalas, cute koalas, with little flower crowns, eating eucalyptus leaves. One of them has like a little baby koala. Then some dinosaurs, really colorful dinosaurs, and little volcanoes. Okay, uh, this next one has some super cute little bears. This one's saying hi. Very cute. Then this one has all these really cute deer with gold foiling and this really pretty like purple floral thing going on, which is very pretty. Um, and of course, <laughs> the main reason I bought it is because it has a whole sticker sheet with colorful llamas and I knew I needed this. I saw the llamas, no questions asked. That blue one's so happy. <laughs> so cute. Uh, this next one has just different like woodland creatures. The little hedgehogs. I love the squirrel holding the acorn on the mushroom. Very, very fall time. So cute. I love anything with squirrels, so love that too. This one's very cool. I would love to see a whole collection dedicated to this one. This one has different like mythical creatures. It's like a nine-tailed fox, a griffin, a jackalope, mothman. <laughs> but they're all very cute. And this next one is very tropical, very summertime. There's a toucan, different parrots, very colorful flamingos and fruit and then I think this is the last one yeah this is the last one I told you you get a ton a ton of stickers in this book um, this one's a like nocturnal animal sticker sheet the koala a raccoon <laughs> the bat the moth the rat I mean this is so cute I would love to see a whole collection dedicated to that but yeah um, this one's kind of like it's kind of coming apart the sticker sheets but honestly even for 20 bucks if this was originally 20 bucks you get a ton of stickers like just imagine if you're spending you know like two three dollars a sticker sheet you're gonna save money so the fact that it's buy one get two free mix and match I should have never known about this because <laughs> I hate it all right so that wasn't the only sticker book. I have quite a few sticker books to go through, but these are a lot smaller though. Um, these are the like kiddish sticker book. They have like a whole little section called Creatology. Um, and these were only 99 cents. I remember these sticker books used to be a dollar and 50 cents. I don't know what happened, but I ain't complaining. I mean, the cheaper, the better. Um, they had like over 20 different sticker books to choose from and I picked my favorite ones. So let's go through them. So the first one here is a gnome springtime garden theme and there's 316 pieces. So here's this first sheet. I love gnomes. And there's like flowers and stuff. And here's this one, little ladybugs and butterflies and sunflowers. Those little worms are so cute. And then this one, continuing, there's like little gardening tools and of course flowers and mushrooms and strawberries. And then it goes into, I think, yeah, you get doubles of each sheet. So you get three different styles and two of each, which is a total of six sticker sheets. This next one is, um, you get 392 and it's like a junk food themed one, which I love anything with food. There's tacos and popcorn and sandwiches. Love a little boba drink. I'm for that. Love boba. Sushi and burgers and pizza. I hope I'm not going too fast. Just trying to go through these. This next one has hot dogs and chips. <laughs> so cute. And then again, just 
three peats. Yeah, three peats. Um, okay, this next one is called Little Cuties, and you get 302 stickers. This one is very kawaii. <laughs> There's, I mean, you'll see here. Look, <laughs> they all have faces. I thought this sticker book was so cute. I love the little cupcakes. The band-aid's so random. I've never seen a little butter stick with a face on it. How cute is that? I love that they chose that pink background too. And then this one, we have the little avocados, little sticks of gum. Watermelon, so cute. And then here's this one, little olives, balloon dogs socks again random but i love it i think it's so cute and then again goes back into repeats these are so adorable i love that and then we have this one just called sweet life and you get 280 and this one is more of like a kawaii fruit summery kind of theme sort of but very colorful love little pineapples and then here's this one little rainbows and popsicles and then this third sheet I love that pastel yellow love little ice creams and then repeats and then the last sticker book is 300 you get 304 stickers now I bought it because I saw the llama corn they're all like magical animals but there's not a single llama corn in this whole sticker book I love a little pig with the wings though. I think he's so cute. And there's like rainbows and stars and gemstones and narwhals and it's just super colorful, but not a single llama corn. What kind of lies are these? <laughs> but the little pig with the wings is super cute. Nonetheless, it's a very cute little sticker book, I think. Oh, funny thing about this one. They actually gave me an extra sheet, so. Yeah, they gave me an extra sheet in the sticker book, which is pretty cool. But yeah, they have really, really cute ones. So if you're looking for really inexpensive ones and, you know, you don't want to go to Dollar Tree or something, Michaels has these for 99 cents, which is a great deal. Okay, enough of stickers. Now, this isn't like stationary, but it is a little craft kit. It's a yarn craft kit. It was originally $4.99, but it was, I think, 66% off or something like that. They always have crazy sales so it's like a dollar and change or something but it has everything it takes 30 minutes and it's a little llama <laughs> it has everything those are the contents it has everything in there that you could possibly need i have a little bin with like fun little craft kits there's a lot of them that are great for kids they're very easy that don't take very long i usually like to do one of these like on the weekend when i don't want to think i don't want to have to have all these materials and i want something messy i love these so very cute um and then i also picked up some little memo pads uh this one was part of the little kids section um but i love the little koala it says go wild and it's just like a super bright green little list pad it was 99 cents you get 70 sheets and then these next two were originally $2.49. So when you check out at Michael's, you know how they have like that section where it's like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars kind of section? Um, that's where this was, but it was on sale for a dollar. So I have this little notepad with the blue stripes, just super cute, very chunky. I like how simple it is. And then I really like this one with the pink gingham and it says, get it done. These are great to like leave on your desk, but. Yeah, and then I think this one comes with 100 sheets. So All right, and then some washi. This is by Recollections. You get two. This one was originally $5, but it was on sale for like 70% or something. Um, so it was like a dollar and change. But I really got it for this holographic washi. I think it's so cute. And then it comes with this like thicker one that has like a rainbow. But yeah, it's part of their Memory Explosion Box collection. And then the last thing in this haul, which I am going to be swatching and trying out, are these Artist Lofts gel pen in 0.7 millimeters. You get 14 gel pens and they're very aesthetically pleasing. Ton of colors. Um, they're supposed to dry fast for reduced smearing. Quick dry, write smoothly, no smears, comfort grip, colorful gel ink, and 0.7 millimeter medium point. And those are all the different colors. 
This one was originally $14.99, but I had a 40% off coupon. So I think it was like $11, which is a pretty good deal. Um, so I'm gonna try these out and see how they work. So I'm gonna do some swatches. So let me open them up. Um, also, I was thinking on my channel that I have some orders coming in because I've been really into pens and markers and stuff. I've never really been that into markers and pens. Um, until I got super into journaling. Um, so let me know if you would like to see a series where I like order different pins and markers and then do reviews on them. So like just a video dedicated to me, like actually, you know, on film, swatching, letting you know what I think about them, the price point, where you can get them, that kind of stuff. Like to get a little bit more into depth, let me know if that's something you would want to do where I could do like unboxings, but of course, like I'll show them in a haul and I'll still swatch them. But if you want to see a little bit more, I don't know, let me know if that would be something you would care to watch. Um, because I'm starting to expand my collection when it comes to my markers and pens. I want to get some like name brand ones that are like a little bit pricier, but I know not everybody can get those. So I wanna try some that are like possible dupes, some that are cheaper, um, just to let you know what's out there and if they're good or not good or whatever. Um, I think it would be kind of fun to do uh, because I've always had like a ton of stickers. I have memo pads, washi, all of that, but I noticed a couple months ago, I was like, wait, I literally have like Crayola markers and a couple pins, that, well not a couple pins, but I have a lot of pins from Dollar Tree, which there's no shame in that. But I was like, I don't have mild liners. I don't have, you know, what is it? The Stabilo, Stabilo, I'm saying it so wrong. Highlighters or like the Sarasa pins or, you know, all those fancy ones. I have one Sarasa gel clip pen that I'm obsessed with. But anyway, um, so I'm trying to expand um, to more like higher quality markers, but also some like cheaper ones and pens and stuff. So anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. Now I'm gonna swatch these. Okay, so I swatched all of these. Um, so here are the Artist Lofts gel pens from Michaels for $14.99. You get a pretty wide assortment of colors and they're very pigmented. They wrote very smooth. I didn't have any problems with any like skipping or anything like that. And for the most part, they are pretty true to, yeah, they're pretty true to the color. Um, so you get pretty much every color that you could possibly need. As for any bleed through, there's no bleed through, no ghosting or anything like that, which I was surprised because they're, they're like inky, but they're pretty fast drying. So like, let's try it. Let's see if they're fast drying. If I try to smear it really quick, I'm just going to do a little. Hmm. Works pretty good. I actually really like these. These are definitely a great deal for $14.99. For 15 bucks, you get a wide assortment of colors. They write very smoothly. They're very pigmented and colorful. And I love the style of the pen. You know, they're the clip. They have a little like gel thing, so it's easy to write with. Yeah, I, re I really recommend these. I'm super excited to add these to my collection and to start using these in future projects. All right, guys. So that is everything in this Michaels haul. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, what did you think of this haul? If you own any of these items, let me know if you like them or dislike them or anything like that. Again, I really do recommend these gel pens. They are so good for the price point and you get a ton of colors. So if you're looking for something inexpensive, but of fairly good quality, I highly recommend these. Now let's just see how long they last. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Stay quiet, my friends. Okay, bye.